But once again, the fleas are the bee's knees right now. Oh my goodness gracious, did you see that hit, guys? Fish on, there we go. Nice. Oh my goodness gracious. Good morning guys, it's your boy Dan right back at you again with another episode of 302 Fishing. Welcome back to the channel here. You saw me on Massey's Pier catching those tiny little tog. I was pre-gaming and as I promised you, we are going to get out and try to get the bigger tog today. So we're back out here with Josh. We're now officially friends. <laughs> and we've got Kyle right here. Uh, he's going to come out with us. He's all the way from Wilmington, about an hour away from where uh, Josh and I live at. But we got maybe 15 minutes to get out to where we need to be. But first things first, we got to go ahead and get some bait out of the marina. And uh, we're going to try to catch that big old togzilla off of a wall here out of Lewis. So bear with us a couple seconds and uh, we'll start dropping uh, some bait down in the bottom in the rocks there and hopefully we get a good old tug and maybe Togzilla might be on the end. Stay tuned. As you can see, the lighthouse is sounding off, man. The last of the fog's breaking off here out of the wall. We made it to our destination. We've got Kyle up front right here. He's getting ready to throw the toggle out into these rocks right here. Josh is going to position it up. And uh, hopefully in a couple minutes, we're going to be dropping lines and uh, trying to get some of those uh, blackfish up out from underneath uh, these uh, waters here. That might be it, bud. There you go. Excellent. Good, good deal, man. Kyle's got the uh, toggle rope over to the uh, wall right there. Josh is getting ready to drop the anchor, and then we're going to go ahead and back ourselves right back into here. Tie her off, and uh, we'll be ready to go. All right, folks, just like the uh, Massey's Pier episode we had, we come out here with our tug candy. We got our sand fleas, so shout out to Lewis Harbor Marina for providing us uh, with these uh, live sand fleas as we drop them down here in the water. So let's go ahead and grab one and get it hooked up on a tog jig. Doing something a little bit different this time rather than the uh, jigs that uh, Josh uses. But we may eventually go to that. But uh, I love that sound of that lighthouse right now. It's cool. And down she goes. You on already? Kyle's on. It didn't even take five minutes, guys. What do we got? Uh, <laughs> starting off, man, with trophy fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a bite right here, guys. Wave. Fish on, guys. <laughs> As the wave knocks me over. Missed that bite, man. We had a rogue wave come. <laughs> oh, shit, we lost it. All right, we're broken off, guys. We got to reset. We got lucky and the toggle just broke loose. It didn't break off, so we can use the same one over again. The joys of tog fishing. <laughs> I think just so we're in, uh, Kyle, how much uh, depth we got there, bud? We're 12 foot of water here, guys. Are you on already? Yeah, right. Josh got one on. Tog, small tog. <laughs> baby tog or a bird gall, I don't know the difference. There you go, bud. First tog on the boat. It's a little rocky out here, guys, so we gotta watch our footing while we're here. Gone. Kyle's on, guys. There we go. Little tiny one. Getting some bites here, guys. Come on. Yeah, fish on. 
This one. Yep. It's a nice one too. Oh, that's a nice one, guys. That was a good tug. Woohoo! There we go. <laughs> that might be close to a keeper, man. Nah. You think? It's like 13, 14. I got the ruler in the white bucket there. Okay. All right, we'll give a quick measurement of this one, man. But that one put up a good tug. He's trying to squirm his way out of here, and he's not getting away. I'll tell you that much. What do we got here? 14 inches, guys. Two inches short. Not a bad way to start off. For me, that is. But uh, I'll get that fish on its way. Guess these other boats felt the presence, man. They start coming around the corner. <laughs> Magically appearing from nowhere. You got one? Oh man, he's on. The rod's bent pretty good. What do we got here, guys? Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. No? All right, let's get up front here. We got no bait on our rod anyway. So we're gonna check out uh, Josh's uh, fish real quick. Oh, it came off. Uh, <laughs> it came off. Yeah, it came off. Was it a keeper? Yeah, it was definitely a keeper. Wow. Of course, I, I was asking for the net. Oh, I know. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's over there on the. Uh... Yeah, I need it. Oh, my fucking, look at this. Holy man, look at this, guys. He had a keeper on the end of the line and it bent that hook straight up, man. Wow. It was a nice one, too. It happened. All right, that's a good sign. We got keepers in the uh, vicinity. All right, Kyle's on. What do we got here, bud? Nice. There you go, guys. Look at the size of that one. 13 and a half. Let's show them off to us real quick here. Perfect. Good deal. If you're liking what you're seeing so far, guys, go ahead and uh, smash up on that subscribe button. Click that notification bell that we informed of all of our future episodes. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video so far. If you want a little bit of trivia, somebody in the comment section tell me what lighthouse that is right there. Despite all the choppy conditions here, we got a lot of boats over here on the wall, man. These people are taking advantage of this super warm day. I doubt it's going to get up to 80 where we're at right now, but it is definitely super warm here for the beginning of November. We should already be in, like I said, in winter jackets, probably maybe having the first snow, hard, icy rain. It's usually how it is in Delaware with the armpit of all weather here. But I am not crying. Just to give you a heads up, if you're coming out here for the first time tog fishing, if you're not getting hits like every other millisecond and it's sitting there for like at least a minute or two, more than likely you have no bait on the end of your uh, rig. So pull it up and rebait up. What is that? Is that a porgy? No, it's a little bait. Uh, it's like uh, what they call a burgall. It's, it looks a lot like a tog. Wow. Look at this uh, unusual species here. He's going to hand it off to me, guys. I'm going to sit down here so I can get a good grip of this thing. But we're trying to figure out what this species is. But if you know what it is, guys, and you can identify it correctly, again, drop a comment down below. But uh, Kyle's trying to get the hook out of it right now. It's neat looking. Doesn't look like a tog, though, right, uh, Josh? It's got the weird teeth. But... I, I think it's a burgall, or they call it also a cutter. Is it a burgall or a cutter, guys? If he's correct, let me know. Put a one in the comments. If not, Again, give us that correct identification. It definitely has teeth. <laughs> they, they look just like a dog, but they won't. Right here, guys, look at these teeth right in here. They're minuscule, but I'm sure they will bite the living heck out of you there. But let's get that fish on the way. Huh? There you go. <laughs> she gone. We'll see how Kyle's going on this uh, boat ride right here, guys. Uh, he's uh, using the big fleas and giving me the tiny ones. Whatever. It's a little <laughs> Little fishing games here we're playing. No, he's the imperfect set. So uh, <laughs> my camera dies at the most inopportune time. Josh gets a big old tog right here. It is unfortunately a half inch short than uh, we need for legal size. So it's got to go back in the water, but I'm sure we're going to find one somewhere. Great job, Josh, there. Please. Yeah. We're a little bit of a quiet time right now. But this uh, current's kind of ripping pretty good here. Oh my goodness, man, he's got a bend on that rod, guys. That looks like a possible keeper there with the way it's bending. Got the net. Oh Lord, here we go, guys. Nice. 
There we go, it's popping there. But really, really nice looking top, man. It got a big fat head on it, too. Go ahead and grab the uh, roller real quick here and give it the call. See what we got. What a fatty that is, guys, man. Nice looking tog there. Great job there, uh, Josh. Thank you. He's getting the uh, keepers up the deeper water right there, so. Yeah, right in there. Boom. Awesome. <laughs> Come on, man. We got to step it up, bro. So the idea is when that rig is down on the bottom, you can feel the actual rig touching the rocks. Sometimes it'll fall in the hole, so kind of be careful. But when you pull it back out, you just drop it back down again until you feel that bottom. That's where you want your bait to be and not move it at all. Just let it sit still and let it, uh, the fish do its uh, thing. Down she goes. And I'll check the depth that we got to right now. Like I said, we need to move maybe 5, 10 feet away. 19. 19 feet. So we're basically 16 feet deeper than we were on our end. And uh, we are definitely out in the tide right here. We have to go a little bit more heavier with our uh, weights here. The three ounces we have, we're just getting blown away by this uh, tide. It's kind of ripping right now. So we got Kyle and I going with, a, I guess, a five and a six. Try to keep it down at the bottom so it doesn't flail out so much. And Kyle's being a gentleman here and helping me with the tog rigs because I don't know how to make them hand by hand. All right. Let's see if uh, Kyle tied me on to a kingmaker here. <laughs> yeah, that definitely feels like it's going to hit the bottom pretty quick. Yeah, way better. We're down on the bottom here. I can definitely feel it. My line's practically almost straight down, whereas that uh, other jig was way out there, man. The tide just kept pulling it and pulling it. And we do have a smaller hook on here, so we should have a, oh my goodness gracious, on. That fish just slammed the daylights out of that. Oh my God. Where's he at? Where's he at? Ah, uh, little one. <laughs> he got a gut check. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle, for that uh, quick change of rig. No problem. But uh, we'll get that off of there and get that little one back on its way. But down we go again. That hook definitely made a difference there. Hit-wise, because uh, I was getting few and far between with a bigger hook. He, uh, I think I already had him on, right? Yeah, I said five and it was way But I'm definitely getting whacked again. There we go, fish on. Oh man, that's a big one, guys. That's a big one. That's a big one. Now nah, we're on the bottom. We're on the bottom. Ah. Now she broke loose, guys. Hold on. We're trying to be, uh, patient here. Yeah, she's on her. She's on her. I got her loose. Uh, there's a fish on her, I think. I'm fairly certain there's still a fish on her, guys. Oh, looks like we got her free. Do we have one on? And we do. I was patient. <laughs> he took me right underneath the rocks. So it looks like uh, six ounces is the deal right now. But I can see where uh, Josh is saying the similarity on that unidentified fish. It's kind of related to that because you can see that the top dorsal almost looks just like that fish that you saw, that little gray fish that had the teeth that don't look like baby teeth, but they're almost like barracuda type teeth. But off she goes. But like I said, with this game right here, this tog game, you gotta be patient. If it hits down in the rock, all is not lost. You just gotta keep loosening that line up and moving it around until you finally get that fish worked out from underneath the rocks. So that's what you saw right there because that fish was solid in there. I mean, you're not gonna get them all, but we got that one. <laughs> but once again, the fleas are the bee's knees right now. Oh my goodness gracious, did you see that hit, guys? Fish on, there we go. Nice. Oh my goodness gracious. 
That's a decent one right there. <laughs> nice 13 inch. Yeah, bring that 13 inch whopper in. <laughs> Oh, she going quicker release. Despite all the clouds and the wind a little bit, it's a perfect day, guys. I mean, it is so beautiful out here. I'm not surprised why there's a bunch of fishermen out there and over here along this wall. Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Got me big time. Josh is on. He's got another nice one, guys. It's fighting pretty good. You're on too? All right, got a little one over here. And Josh is still fighting one over here. Ooh, that might be close, and he's got somebody else's rig on top of it. Oh, we got a double hookup, guys. Double hookup. Nice. <laughs> that matches up pretty cool with the episode that I shot the last time, guys. But Josh did it this time. Check it out. <laughs> Perfect, man. <laughs> All right, man. I'm digging that. Again, one super dark. One got that kind of calico kind of color on it. But uh, great job, Josh. Thank you. Excellent. Unfortunately, neither one of them. Yeah, none, none of them are legal. <laughs> There we go, fish on. All right. <laughs> All right, another one with a belly hook, guys. Ooh, Kyle's got one on. Oh, it's a decent head shake here. All right, here we go, guys. Twinsies. <laughs> Gone. Josh uh, dropped a comment to me a second ago. I seem, we seem to think this is the most productive episode that uh, we've had. I mean, we're just landing on these fish left and right, guys. It's like the fish gods are on our sides today. Wow. Wow, did you see that, guys? Hopefully you saw that out of the corner of the... Uh, frame right there, right above the rocks. You saw those big waves just come right up over the top of that uh, rock structure. I win. Look at this, guys. I win. <laughs> Kyle wins for the tiniest tog of the day. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got, I got, it's Watch out, man. Longest. Yeah, you gotta hold it out far, man. So. That's all the farther I can hold it. <laughs> Fish on, guys. Wow. Nice. Get out of. Oh, you got. It. Oh. That was a decent one right there, guys. Almost had me into those rocks. Oh, it sucked your sinker off. Did it? Yep. Uh, Short it too, didn't it? <laughs> Ooh, she's feisty. Come on, get out of there. There we go. Very, very feisty little fish, man, but he almost got me into the rocks and almost took me. It's gone. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to the wall. 
We had an absolute fabulous day. Kyle, thank you very much for coming out. Josh, thank you very much for taking us out. But uh, we absolutely slayed up on the... Uh, <laughs> Forgot to tie that thing completely down, but we slayed on the tog today. We must have caught, what do you think, Kyle? At least 60 tog at least. <laughs> and uh, one caper Josh got, and we had multiple 14 inchers, and Josh had a 15 and a half incher. So we can't complain, man, because the last time we uh, came out here, it was a tough time. But if you guys enjoyed what was going on there, got it? Yeah. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, share the video out. Follow us on Instagram at 302fishing. And as always, guys, we'll see you next weekend.